Well, I'm going to just kind of give us a kind of a thirty thousand foot view of Wu as as I understand it. I, and obviously, this is not this is a lesser theme for me. So uh, I'm glad that we have someone who really has this to kind of validate some of my theories about Wu, if you will. I guess if I had to kind of just briefly define Wu, it's it's when people have this theme, they are they can quickly and comfortably build multiple social relationships and exert broad social influence. And so some kind of words that come to mind when I think about Wu are social initiative. It's really about starting relationships. These are people who are really good at getting the ball rolling socially, like saying hello and kind of reaching out. Uh, it, for some people it's about social speed. They can do this pretty quickly. Uh, I think it's also a little bit about social courage. Those people who have less woo or are a bit feel socially inhibited, maybe. But people with woo, they have a kind of a social adventure about them. Um, the the word itself stands for winning others over. So there is an influence about this theme. In fact, it's one of the when it's kind of mapped to the different domains. It's it's a part of that influencing the domain, the ability to kind of win people over, get them on their side. I, I think these are people who can often create a, a social energy and a social ease in a situation. I, I think these are people who are often comfortable in a crowd. They, they like social multiplicity and social variety. And uh, we, we used to have a phrase called multi-relator at Gallup. And I think this is the theme that really has that kind of multi-relator. It, it's kind of, you, maybe you've heard the phrase, the more the merrier. I think that's a little bit what, what Wu is. Um, some, some words that we sometimes use to kind of describe Wu using a different word, maybe a different noun, would be a socializer, a charmer, a conversationalist, conversationalist a greeter, an engager, an initiator, a networker is kind of a big word that is often kind of, these are people who can build a broad social network because they, they know how to start relationships, they know how to kind of do that in a fairly quick process and, and they're comfortable with that social multiplicity that other people might not be. Um, they can be seen as charming, as uh, uh, outgoing, gregarious, um, winsome, socially energetic. So um, those are the things that, um, uh, some of the words that I would say, very people-oriented, really good at being re building rapport and starting that rapport. Uh, if I were to call, kind of talk about the basement, and I don't want to spend a lot of time on the basement of this theme because I think um, we mostly want to get a picture of what it is and, and not uh, the problems. But I think sometimes, and I've heard this, and we're going to have Jarlene address this, uh, sometimes people with Wu might be perceived as shallow or maybe not sincere or as someone that maybe doesn't care in deeper, more authentic relationships. And we certainly want to talk about that. Um, this theme is is uh, is not a one that we see a lot. I think 13% uh, of people in our database have Wu in their top five, so it's it's not the most frequent, but it's not the most rare theme as well. Um, I was was thinking about a a saying or a proverb that might kind of kept capture the essence of this, and and really what I was thinking is you've probably all heard something. Maybe you haven't all heard of a person. An American humorist uh, in the uh, in the the 20th century, early early 20th century, was a guy by the name of Will Rogers, and one of the things that Will Rogers said, he said, "I never yet met a man that I didn't like," and and I think there is something about liking that's at the core of this theme. Um, I think it's people who are are, and, and this is what what Matt Matt Matt. <laughs> Mark Twain said, he liked people, therefore people liked him. And I think that's what Wu is. These are people who genuinely, I think, are like other people. And because of that, they're likable. They're able to like and they're likable. They like can like someone pretty quickly or find something to like about someone. And that's really, I think, at the core of their reaching out. Uh, and that's why I think to some degree people with Wu say a stranger is just a friend they haven't met yet. 